Well, hello everyone. It's Brian with uh, Craft Fancy, and uh, along with me today is I have Carol. Carol from Craft Fancy. Fancy. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everyone's having a great day today. Uh, got a great Craft Fancy project. Hello, North Edwards, California. So we got a lot of comments going on. I got this going on. Carol, what do we got today? We got the quick and easy birthday cart. We got a project there, right there. Look at that. Look, I'm out of the screen and you're in. So we got that. Got a wonderful cards there. We're going to be doing three wonderful cards, looks like, today. And uh, hopefully everyone's there. Look at all everyone coming in saying hello right away. So I'm going to see if I can grab my little Facebook thing here, see what's cooking with comments. Uh, what do you got, Carol? You're kind of sitting there all quiet. Talk. Say something. I'll let you talk because you like to talk. <laughs> I do not like to talk. I always like to be quiet here. So, so we got a lot of great people coming in there talking about comments and stuff. So why don't you go ahead? We got couple people that are starting off here so you want to wait a minute or two or just we can talk? take a couple minutes you know what why don't you go ahead and uh show our show our thanksgiving or not our thanksgiving today's saint patrick's day so why don't we go ahead and show something we did special i'm going to do an overhead shot ready really that? quick ready is that it there it is yes that's our oh there, we we there it is a little cart for this weekend right there with the well, green beer yep why don't you talk about it so what this is, is the gnome die um, that if you already did the Christmas kit, so it's already there. And that we did a green beer on on him instead of the white beer. The shamrock is from the Easter of the springtime man on. So that kit is for March, not March, April 2nd. And um, the shamrock is part of that. And then this is, we were making a die out of this thing, Happy St. Patrick's Day, but it didn't make it here in time. So we just, we just did a laser cut on it for right now. We'll get the dies May after St. Patrick's Day. So. Awesome. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and post that onto our blog yep. and our website for you guys so you guys can take a look at that. That is an awesome card. Here it is. Do, 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 All right, guys. All right. We got a lot of people coming on there. Someone's so. asking if you're going to go to Lakeland. Yes, we will be at Lakeland this year. So uh, It's yes. November and it's, it's warmer, so we'll be there. Yes, we will. We are going. So right as of right now, as long as gas is prohibited and it doesn't go up to twenty five get dollars a gallon, which I'm hoping it doesn't. But we will be at all the CKC events and we are part of the Thursday night technique class as well. So remember, guys, we'll be doing a technique at all those CKC events, which means if you guys go do that, I think it's roughly around twenty five dollars. Six project. Every, every show is a little different. So there's some have more presenters, some have less, but we will be going to them all. And the best part about that is at those CKC events, after the presentations, you get to go shop in the Craft Fancy booth along with the other presenters as well. So the show floor is opened up just for the presenters, okay. and you guys can go do Grab your real, your real stuff. Oh, so apparently my teacher isn't prepared, so yeah. she's got to go. She forgot her trimmer. Well, when you're live and you don't have the tools, that means you're not prepared, right? That Craft Fancy is always looking for good help. www.craftfancy.com. So I'm back. All right, guys. Here All we right. go. Why don't we go ahead, Carol? Dive in with our project. Let's start we are. With before we do that, I do want to say we are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook for the Craft Fancy site as well as the One of a Kind site. So, guys, don't don't delay. Uh, any questions asked today? All right, Carol, take us home. All right, we're gonna start with this one on the right side. The happy birthday with a heart in the middle. Let's start easy one. So what we're gonna everything. Make sure that you guys have done your homework. Everything is pre-cut. Um, it's strip. These little strips on the background. It's four inches by seven eighth of an inch. So it fits perfectly. So here is what I'm gonna do. Let me slide this over. I'm going to just adhere the panel onto the card base. Um, the black panel, not this panel. Use my ATG. That's what I like. Not everybody like it, but that's okay. All right, let me fold this a here. Why she's folding that there? That's what kind of base card base are you using? It's with a this Nina. I always use my card base is always Nina Solo White, um, eighty pound weight. I like it. Um, is that that Brian copy paper? That's that copy paper that Brian has. Yes. What, and the nice thing about it is it's a it's a heavier weight and then what's what's the key to it is when you fold it it doesn't it doesn't crack it doesn't crack that's always qual quality starts at the beginning yep. so I did the base 
and then now I'm going to adhere the strips onto the white. The reason why I'm not putting this on here is because when you line these little strips up, you might be off by a little bit, so you could trim the edge off. You know what I'm talking about once I start layering it onto the panel. Again, it's my APG. Brian could answer the questions if they have questions. Yep. Uh, so far, I got that can happen the best. They're talking about your you're getting a trimmer and the ATG gun is my favorite. Yep. So you're kind of quiet, Carol. Why are you so quiet today? Because I'm focused. focused. You're focused. You're focused. All right. So I'm just gluing down the strips onto the, onto the base, onto the white base. See what I'm talking about? When I cut it, I was off by a little bit, so you'll see a little gap. So you might I'm, you might want to hold that up just a little higher. So what I'm I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can see it. Um, it's off by a little bit, so when I trim it, when I glue everything down, it will be perfect. Just like me. No. All right. So let's go to the pink again. I gotta do the pink, blue, and green. I'm kind of following my samples. So. All right. Brenda's telling me the ATG gun is very difficult for a left-handed person it to is. use I know. because Kathy you cannot has. see where the tape is being applied. Yep. Kathy has the same problem. I cannot I cannot lie or, or deny that one because, yes, that is something that you guys, uh, left-handed people, always suffer with. They should make it for – they should make one for the left, left lefties. All right. If anyone has any questions for Carol, don't hesitate to ask. We are online. I'm going to trim the edge so I can clean up a little bit on the side here. Just a little. What kind of trimmer is that? Um, it's a Tim Holtz um, tonic trimmer. It's small. That would let me um, you know, move it around a lot quicker than the big 12 inches. So now I'm going to, it's still a little bit big, so I'm going to trim it a little bit more from top to bottom. Somehow my panel looks bigger than I need it. I need to cut a little bit more. There it is. I think this is the first Craft Fancy project that we had that you actually had to uh, trim something. Trim something. Amy LaForge Hart's saying that Tim Holtz is my favorite trimmer. I like it. The reason why I like it because it's over six inches. So if you want to cut a A2 card base, you get five and a half right here. Brenda's asking a question. Brenda's, how wide is the cutting surface? Um, on this one? Yes. It's six inches. Six inches by, I don't know, maybe. We got six inches. Well, I'm trying to hold that up there. I look like, we're looking like amateurs today. Six inches by, I will get the actual measurement. Yeah, it's a rule. Oh, well. What's a ruler? I'm a guy. Guys don't use rulers. So I got six inches by, looks like eight, nine, six by nine. So you can cut the end half by 11. All right. To clarify, it is six by nine. Thank you. So I'm just gluing the panel on the back of my black paper, my card base. Now... That's it. Oh, look at that. I may have to get that. That's Where is that's my... what Brenda's saying. What did I do with the heart? Oh, right. It blended into the mat. I couldn't see it. So I just need to do the heart. And then I die cut of the happy birthday of the white glitter paper that came with your kit. So those are there. And I just need some black foam square. Black foam square. Because I have black, so I want, like to use black to match. Yes. My right, card stop. Yes, you're using the favorite pop dots. Let's do one more in the middle. Pop dots. So I'm just adding the foam square in the back and putting on the back of the heart and then lining it up. Hang on, let me make sure it lines up. So like, like Carol's doing that, I got a question for everybody. I know this isn't scrapbook related, but it's craft fancy. We can ask questions. What do you guys got planned for St. Patrick's Day? Are you going to hang out with my buddy, the gnome, and drink a lot of beer? Or are you guys yeah, just going to go? Yeah, green beer. Or are you guys going to hang home, do a little extra crafting on the kits you didn't finish up today? What 
you tell me what you like. So I got Very Simple and Elegant, I love it, from Nancy Rossi. And then Penny Sell Selling is asking, do you sell the Black Boom Squares? Yes, we do. And yes, I can answer that. It is. It's going to be, go to www.craftfancy.com, check under the adhesives, and you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Yep. Going to the going to crop at the Cape. Oh, Daddy, Daddy That's is nice. Daddy is gonna be cropping tonight. So I'm kind of just lined up the birthday since these kind of hang out. So you want to make sure that you put the glue from the I to the A, not on the B or on the Y. Otherwise, it it doesn't do anything. Otherwise, it's just gonna dry on the back. And I'm using the little uh, mini, um, what do I call this thing? These bottles. The, um, just the empty bottles to add our glitter glue in there. Or right. any kind of really quick glue. It's Again, it's precision tip. So it's you just dot it in there. And you don't have to worry about it oozing out. And if it does ooze out a little bit, it dries clear. So I got uh, Brenda's. Brenda Woods is telling me it's a not a night. I haven't seen any restaurants having corned beef dinners in my area. I know we should be eating corned beef tonight. Amy the Four Tart changing back to the trimmers again. The trimmers are by Tonic and yep. they have one for a 12 by 12 paper. Yep. And then uh, Brenda's going back to the crop again, saying, Ooh, I love that crop at the Cape. That sounds fun. And then Heidi's saying, my son loves to leave a treat for the leprechaun and usually gold coins, chocolates are left behind. Oh, that's, yeah, I like that. All right. So card number one is done. Awesome. I lost my eye, but I would like the little eye afterward. Because when I cut it ahead of time, I stopped losing. So card number one is done. Awesome. Card number one is done. All right. We'll do the second one, which is this little guy. So make sure you get your stencil out. Um, the ink that I have, it's the pink, green, and the pink, green. Did I use green or did I yellow? It's, it's green. I'm just losing it. Um, you can't lose it. You're here. We got professionals. We got crafting professionals here. Looking for my stencil. That's what I'm sure. Is this green? It is green. It's a, light, a light, very light green. It's yellow. It's getting confused. Well, yeah, when you when you do the blue and, and the blue and green. green, it kind of right. turns into yellow. So here's my stencil. Oh. There is. And that's what kind of stencil is it? It's a Taylor Expression Hot Spot stencil. It's a six by six stencil. So what I did was, let me put my pieces here. So what I did here was I have a, a stitch. Everybody should have a you know a couple of these stitch pieces or one piece here we're going to just hold this up i'm going to change the screen really quick it. just so you can take a look at the upfront screen you guys can see here it should be all the stitch pieces right there yep. looking really good so all right back to our overhead scene and then what i did was i want i didn't want the little holes like the little from the top so i kind of like put it in the middle kind of like right there because i don't want it to be too small me and then just kind of lined it up. I did it like this, just kind of lined it up, flipped it over. Since you're gonna stencil the whole surface, you want to put your tape on the back, not the front, because you won't be able to. You'll be able to um, stencil the whole thing. What's that tape you're using? I have the purple tape. I am, um, but I don't think they're in in stock right now, so. Use the best craft tape from Spellbinders. Okay. So this is what I have. So I can see the whole helps me line up the stencil. And now I need green. I have my ink right here. Green, the blue, and oh. the sugar, spun sugar, twisted citron, and tumble glass. Yes, corned beef and cabbage for dinner and not much else for St. Patrick's Day. I got celebrating my twin's birthday today. And also, too, we have corned beef, cabbage for dinner, Guinness beer, and soda bread. I wow. miss I miss soda bread a lot. I, uh, I I really enjoyed that. That was a good good thing all the time was the soda bread. Nice, heavy, dense bread like and loaded up with butter. Look at that. You make that look easy. Is blending hard? 
easy. I got to ask a question. Is there anyone that hasn't gotten into blending yet out here? Give us a shout out out here. Let us know and and let us know. Let us know why. We're all kind of curious. How's everyone else doing? Is I hope you guys are staying safe today. Hope you're kicking back, relaxing. It is Saturday, so hopefully everything's working out for you. You're having a lot of fun. Carol's got her three cards up, three colors open. That is, she's blending that out. Try to see because it's a light color. Um, it's very pastel-y. Pastel it almost looks like Easter colors. It is Easter. Seriously. Here comes Peter Cotton. To see by the up and down. And then more color. So is that the rule of thumb? You can go light and you can always add, but you can never take away? Yep. Always go light. If you don't like it, add a little bit more. If you think you need a little bit more. Otherwise, it's all good. All right. It's getting quiet out there. I don't see any questions or comments. We must have lost everybody. I don't use talking. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm going to peel off just one side. You can see it. You see it? See? There it is. Why don't you just hold that up to the front screen? Nope. We'll go, oh. we'll go here. Let's go here, right there. There you go. Colors, 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 colors. All right. Stop. Just going to take out the purple tape. Be careful rip, taking that paper. That purple tape off too. He's on the back, so it's okay. Okay. You can always save it to reuse it later, however you want to do it. So now I need my pink panel on the back. This mats over it, right there. Kind of just positioning it so then everything looks good. So oh, I got my chamois. You want a chamois? Nope. I just clean it with my hand. That's what hands are for. Now wipe it on your pants. It's a light color, so if it's a dark, no, I won't. But if it's a light, it would be okay. So this is the dot. I'm just going to put it around the pink. There's that. Then I'm going to put on the scallop die cut, like a light blue. Now I notice when you put that on, let's talk about how you put that on real quick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put it, put it on the blue one then. Okay. All right. So the one thing that, now you notice how Carol put that on. She ran her finger around the edge. Yep. What you don't want to do with this is you don't want to run your hand across the whole thing. You might smear the ink. Because you could possibly smear the ink. Yep. So it is water-based. It does dry fairly quick. But remember, it is still color and it's ink. You could smear it and end up ruining your card. Mm -hmm. Or as we all, all us card makers know, it's hard to bling everything up. That's the Brian tip of the day. So here's the mini slim. So I'm going to just mop this onto the mini slim card base. All right. The, another reason why I like the ATG, I'm not left-handed, so I'm good. It's because there's so much um, adhesive on the roll, and I don't have to change it as much. I don't have to change it over as as often. So that's it. That's this part. And now I'm going to hear the happy birthday onto the vellum background. So that's my happy birthday, and that's my vellum. So I'm going to... Put this hole off. Okay. So I'm going to add some glue onto the back. And then mount it onto the... And then just using the little glue bottle again. Drop a little, little dot on here. See that? Look at Nancy. Nancy came back and said, good point. I thought... Thanks, I wouldn't have thought of that. Let me tell you, because it's it's experience, Nancy, because I've done that a couple times already. You start blending, you get it all perfectly blended, and the next thing you know, you're like, yeah, lay it on there, and then and you're like, oh, Oops. I just smeared it. Yep. Especially when you do the heavier, darker inks. That's what I notice 
notice it happen a lot more. And if you do like a heavy ink, like heavy, like you lay, really lay it on there, it takes longer to dry. So. And then I'm going to add just a little glue onto that. So while Carol's doing that, Carol, talk to us about shows. Are we go, are we back in some in-person shows? Where do we just come from? We just came in from Mesa. Did you like it out there? Yes, I, it was 85. It was nice. I miss Mesa. Uh, warm welcome, all the uh, all the craft fancy people stop by the booth. Thank you so much for all the people that are watching out in Mesa. And Arlene people, was there. Arlene Severnis came in there, uh, which is a big uh, craft fancy fan and one of a kind. Uh, she came in, saw me right before class. We were teaching out there. We did the Thursday make and take, and then uh, it's called technique, not a make and take. It's a technique Thursday. Thursday. And uh, it was it was great. So sorry about that. Old habits are hard to break. So what? So I'm gonna cut little. I'm gonna raise it up. I know it's vellum, so I'm gonna cut little pieces just sort of sporadically onto the back of the happy birthday because I like it dimensional. Where's my scissor? I lost my scissor. Do you not have scissors? Nope. Somebody stole my scissor. Can I use this? Yeah, you can probably use that. Well, why don't you show them what you're doing? I'm using a little tool right here to cut my foam square. So I put just a little pieces on the back to hide it. Um, I like dimension. It's just me. Oh, there we go. Carrie Bell's here. She's representing Misa. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Yep, I want to thank. There are so many great people there. Uh, there was Tracy Ng's group that... that was out there uh, taking a lot of classes and then supporting us. Uh, there was some lady named by the name of Crazy Town that was out there. Uh, like I said, Arlene Severnis was, uh, was, out there. was out there with us. There were so many people that just stopped by. It was it was great to be in person so much. Thank you, Mesa. Where's our next show going? Um, Collinsville, St. Louis. Collinsville. That's and then, April. Yep. So that And then uh, Collinsville, again, that's a CKC show. We are doing a Thursday night events there, uh, which is uh, the technique one. Guys, hold on a second. Why, why, why she's just putting those stamps down. I'm going to jump up here. Guys, you really want to look at the CKC site. Go to the CKC Creating Keepsakes event, and uh, you guys are going to want to sign up for that Thursday night. It's like $25. There's like four or five presenters there. Six, I think. Six, this one? Like yeah. six presenters for 25 bucks. You do you do uh, make and take projects that night. There's and, a lot of door prizes, and then door prizes are given out. And then the best part is after the make and takes, after the last person does their presentation, you guys go shop in the booth. This isn't like other shows where you got some little table set up, little table set up in the back, and you can get like three things on there, and they yell at you if you take in that little extra space. No, you guys go to the booth and shop that night. The shelves are full, they're racked, nothing empty. Uh, could you imagine going into a booth? That you're limited to you and just the other people that do those uh, those Thursday night techniques, and then you go in there and you get the shop, and then uh, also too is uh, we got the deals going on yep. there in St. Louis, and then also too is we're teaching class. Yes. Like, who's teaching that class out you there? You are teaching the class. It's my friend Homie the Nomi. Yep. And uh, we're going to be going out there. We're going to be teaching that wonderful class. Well, so, guys, check that out. We're going to be in uh, Collinsville. What, what weekend is that? The second weekend of April. Second weekend of April. Is it the second? All right, guys. I think it's the second. Maybe this is the second first. one. Should be sure to check the uh, Craft the website. AMC website, and we'll have all those dates there. All the right. Second card is done. So I added a little black foam square on the back of the happy birthday, just like kind of right behind the B and behind the A, so you don't see it. See, when you do a close up, you don't see the foam foam square. So number two is done. Look at that. I got uh, Valerie Bell coming in there saying that the homie, the Nomi class was great. Thank you. I, I like that when I hear that. That's awesome. We always have a great time in class. My classes are fun and easy. Nothing but nothing but fun. Um, we're also going out to Columbus for a show. Uh, and um, Not the end of March, but the third week of March. Third week of March. Okay, so that one is the uh, the volume group, the I volume, think. So the Mega Meet, the Great Lake Mega Meet. Yep, so we'll be there. And then it's uh, CKC. And then after that, it's Texas, I think, right? 
No, Novi. Novi. Then we're back at Novi. We're, in, we're going to be in Manchester, New Hampshire in, in April. Yes, going and out to Novi. see my Boston peeps again. Yep. I should say Northeastern peeps because we're going in Hampshire. So, all right, let's, I'm sorry, I don't mean to jibber jabber. Let's get back onto our third card here. The third card, we're going to be doing blending the bottom of this white um, base. So what I did was I eyeball it. I don't, I have a Googler right here. Get a general idea where I wanted the tape to be. If you have a pencil, you have a pencil? Yeah, you have a pencil. Just do a little line, kind of, kind of um, want to know where you where do you want to apply the purple tape because you only want to blend the bottom part of this panel, not the top, and you want to use the purple tape to mask the area so then you don't go over. So let me could do better when I stand up. So I masked it this much. So I know I don't want to go over that line. Okay. And now I'm going to use my green. So what I when I blend onto the paper, I don't just go on the paper. I go from the outside. I go in from the outside of the card and go in. Because if you go right onto the card, you'll get circled. So a couple of the comments that were coming back is uh, Carol Parker is excited that we're going to be in Novi, so we will be there. And then uh, and then Brenda Woods is coming back. She's like, "Oh, my old stomping grounds. I miss New England, but snow sucks, and I moved to Florida." So that's we'll like, see you wow. in November. Yes, so we'll we'll definitely be down there, uh, Brenda. We'll be seeing you in in Lakeland then at the CKC in Lakeland. And then also Dottie is coming back saying, unfortunately, I'm missing Manchester. The grandson's getting married. Ooh. You know what? Did, did Dottie, did you not tell the grandson? You cannot interfere with scrapbooking events. He, he, he messed up. What would have been better is he had the wedding in the same building as the show. <laughs> then then you would have been okay. So <laughs> wishing for Colorado. I just, just keep that thought going. Nancy, keep that thought going. Uh, we're kind of kind of working on some stuff. It's been it's been tough, you know. It's like uh, why why Carol's just blending that really quick. I know you guys are watching that, so I'll, I'll just keep that on going. But man, that ride out to Mesa that was that it was, was a long drive. That was a long drive, twenty five and a half hours from Chicago lands. But it was uh, it was well worth it. It was great to see people. I was glad to see it. Uh, I definitely got the shell shock coming back in my life. Going back there, we didn't get hit with the gas increase, but when I was down there, we got hit with that gas increase and coming back you know what it is what it is it wasn't as bad as what i thought it was going to be so it, it's all right who do we got here uh i got brenda coming back my husband is excited for being in lakeland because it makes christmas shopping easy for him yes yes oh it, for the, the show the, yeah well just christmas shopping because it's in november the shows are there uh, okay. and then uh and also too brenda you can always tell your husband if he's looking for ideas, be sure to go to www.craftfancy.com. You can always get a gift certificate there, and then he's never going to never get the wrong gift because a gift card always goes to the right person to get the right products. Wow, look at that. Back to our regularly scheduled commercial, uh, program. Okay. All right. Look at that. You get, you're blending pretty good. I, I taught you how to blend pretty good. So when I peel it off, you'll get a really nice, crisp, line. Kathy telling us she really enjoys watching you create, Carol. Awesome. Thank you. So, you don't want that peeling in. Look at that. Brenda's husband, he, he's, he's an all right guy. He wants he wants Brenda to stock up on the adhesives and dyes from your booth. <laughs> he must know who really sells the adhesives. <laughs> thank, right. thank you, Brenda's husband. So How about the show in Madison? Where I don't know what's going on there. They really, they really jacked up those rates high. But uh, we're gonna, we gotta see how we can get back to, get back there. If we go to the Madison, we might have to change the location. It won't be far from the original location, but we have to figure out how we're gonna, how we gonna make it there. Right, right. I got, we got, we got a lot of. We got a lot of pokers in the fire. I got, I gotta tell you, this year is gonna be a tough year for us. It, it's. 
it's it's tough. It's tougher than last year. Why 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 Carol's just cleaning up there? It's it's just really tough because it's like I got to start from ground zero again. It's like we pre COVID everything was rocking and rolling. We were having a great time. We knew stuff and and we were able to just bam bam lock stuff down. You know everything was an auto auto drive. And then that's this whole pandemic hit, and now now all of a sudden we're trying to start off and certain halls that were easy to work with aren't easy to work with now. Other stuff is getting ready to go, you know. So we're we're trying to get out. There's shows shows disappeared out of areas where where there used to be a show. Now there's no show. So so you know I, I see stuff where we can go, but uh, definitely stay tuned because the craft fancy craft fancy will be hitting the road this year. So yep. come heck or high water. I don't care about gas prices. We're 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 getting out to we're gonna to try to get out to all your neck of the woods. Yes, that's Colorado. Yes, that's New Jersey. California. <laughs> I yeah, California. So if I do a West Coast thing, we're we're gonna work definitely work something out. So all right guys, let's get back to our overhead program. Add adhesive on the back of this panel that I just burned. So I'm gonna just mount it onto the black card gate, the card panel. Open to see you in Orlando. Definitely uh, Orlando's coming, so don't, Heidi, don't you worry. Uh, yes, we're definitely going to be out there. Hillsboro, we're on the schedule to be out there. Here's Barrel. Uh, again, as long as gas doesn't go up to $25, you'll see us out in Hillsboro. So, uh, we, we, you know, just like every business, we got to make some decisions and uh, see if we can't go. Pat Grossman's telling me gas prices has to be affecting everyone, vendors and crafters. Yeah. Food, everything else. It, oh, it's just, it's you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and cry a river on this one, but uh, I was just, uh, you, we just got to deal with it, you know. Us, us, I, I, you know, we're all in it. We're all little people here, so you just got to roll with the punches. So when I, I do have the die cut, the happy birthday. What I did was I did two because I like to stagger them to, on top of each other and make it a little bit more sturdy. And you glue with that. So I have two of them, and I'm just going to lay over. Lay over, um, lay them over. Kathleen's saying Oregon. That's Portland. Yep, yep. Fuel prices are awful for the trucking companies. Yeah, it's it's not just a uh, the trucking companies are even worse because you know they still have they gotta get all their special permits and you know I, we have a small enough truck. I have a regular sized pickup truck, so we're able to pull in the normal gas stations, but those big trucks can't do that. So and that's what that's what they jack up the price. It's like. Five dollars for diesel and oh my gosh, when we were coming back, it was five twenty five was the highest we saw. Penny Blaylark's joining us. Hey, Penny. Hello, Craft Fancy. Well, hello, right back to you, Penny. It's good to see you. If you're joining us right now, like Penny is, Carol's go working on her third card right now, and what she's doing is she's uh, putting two of the same die cuts together to create a little depth on that. Yep. So when we're do, putting the sentiments on there, it looks like it's nice and thick. You could do three. Penny is watching us from Kenwick, Washington. Well, I just checked CKC, and the Lancaster one is only four and a half hours away. There you go. See? It's called a road trip. And the hotel is right in the building, so you don't even have to leave. Right. Right. You don't That's even, even have to leave the building to go to the crop or the shop or in the booth. The Lancaster one is really awesome. It's a Marriott hotel, which is all in the same area. Get your room there, walk down. You can be crafting, and away you go. It's, that's this great cupcake place. Oh, and a cupcake place that's around the corner, yes. It's amazing. No one needs cupcakes because everyone that's watching Craft Fancy is always so sweet to begin with. They're so good. We are paying over $2 a liter here in British Columbia, Canada for diesel. Yes. It's crazy. That, that It just gets nuts. And then, uh, and she's doing a wonderful job, isn't she? Carol, Carol is doing a wonderful job. I might have to keep her around. Yeah, I know. My years of training and experience are rubbing off on Carol. I'm a keeper. I've right. heard Lancaster is a great show. Lancaster, it's definitely great. check it out, Brenda. Lancaster is a very. There's a lot of good vendors there. You definitely wouldn't. I don't think you'd be disappointed there. I'm going to see who would come with me. Cupcake, yum. Oh yeah, Amy. You know what? We could we could craft and cupcakes. That's it. That's what we could do. We'll craft and then we'll all run to the cupcake store. <laughs> all right. I'm just what, adding. What, what are we doing now? 
Adding a little glue on the back of my birthday with my little glue bottle. Too far from Southwest Florida. Well, you know what's not too far is the CKC Lancaster. No, Lakeland. Or, uh, Lakeland, CKC Lakeland. That's not too far from Southwest Florida. Jeanette's telling us she always does the Lancaster show. Wendy Little's here saying, I think Carol done a great job training you. <laughs> Lots of laughs. That's correct. That's more like it. Start our own <laughs> start our own group, the Crafty Cupcakes. Craft and cupcakes. What what more could you do? If you do go to Lancaster, they do have amazing cupcakes. I forgot the name of that place. Lancaster cupcake? No, it's something. You know what? We'll we'll make a post on there. Just it's so, so good. It's it's awesome. All right, so you know what? Why why she's just putting that last piece down there, and we're starting to get a lot of time. What I'm going to do is, wouldn't be craft fancy if we didn't have a, uh, a special. special. So what's today's special is with any fifty dollar purchase, you will receive a free memory box die valued between fifteen to twenty five dollars. That is valid. Valid from 312 to 316. No code is necessary. Online orders only. That's right. It's only online orders. So if you, that means if you come to the store, it is not valid. It is online or only. So place that order online. You're going to get that $50 purchase. And it's got to be up to $50 purchase, not, not including the tax. So it's got to be, it's got to be the $50. You'll receive a free memory box die valued between fifteen to twenty-five dollars, and that is only valid between three twelve and three sixteen. And again, no code is necessary. All right, Carol, done. take us home, man. What All do we right, got? We're done. Here's the second cart we finished. Did you put some shaker elements on there? I did. I, you might have did that while we were doing. Show people how to put one more on. I just. What were we using there? A little rhinestone picker. Oh, that's beautiful looking. And grab it. Just grab another one because I think I was talking too much through it. Love the simplicity of the cards. Not busy on the eyes and could be produced in multiples. Right. If you need to crank something up fast, it's a great, great. Um, that's that's the way we always like. Craft Fancy always likes to do the, just the clean and simple cards for everybody. So you pick it up right there. Look at that. You can pick, pick it up. It right pick it up. Then just drop it in your glue. But boom. Oh, is that a new slow? Boom. Is boom. that new? Yes. That's my new phrase. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Replacing boom shaka laka. All right. Well, All right. With the third part, I want to show you some samples of some new products. Oh, oh, it's show and tell time. Okay. Show so and tell. So here is die. And here's a sample that I did. So you could do it as a shaker. It's a shaker. Oh, you can see it. Can you see the shaker? Yeah. So it's a layering. There's like, like a three layer. There's just the background. That's the happy birthday. And then that's the... Happy birthday background. So you get oh, the look at it. All right. There, let me zoom in a little so you guys can see that. There okay. we go. So that's one bit cart we did with this new die that we came out with. Yeah, donuts. Yep. It's not cupcakes. It's cupcakes and, and donuts. Is, that I don't know anybody, I'm sure you have seen it, but I'm going to show it to you again. But this is the new Lawn Farm platform. So you could, it, it lays flat. And then you go under there. So it, like a little platform thing. There's that. Don't don't worry, Penny. The uh, we'll show the special again before we uh, before we leave, and then of course it's going to be posted on. We'll post it on the what on the one of a kind site. And there's the new site. long farm. You got the little new farm animal. I got to back out a little for this one. There right. we go. You got the new little goats. You got little goat um, farm new. animals. You got the bear in the ring and happy Easter. The happy Easter. Um, I got a couple of samples of this, but I wasn't done. Okay. So I will we'll post that tomorrow. And these are these are new releases. Those from are Long brand Farm. new release from Long Farm. We sold out like in three days, and then we just got the reorder back. Yes, yes, it was tough because we took them to the new release came out just in time for the show. And then we got this new um, Pretty Pink Posh layer present and cupcake stencil. Again, I didn't have time to make samples yet because it was too crazy. Well, maybe maybe we can pop on this week one time and just kind of go through some uh, show and tell. I, you guys give me a shout out. Let me know. Would you guys like us to just come on and just do an episode where we just show new products and talk about new products? Maybe not not necessarily do a card, but just what's new in the Craft Fancy store? Yeah. Let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. We can try that out where we just talk about the new products. And this is my new favorite. So this new die, oops, from Memory Box, from Poppy, not Memory Box. 
um, just different. Oh my gosh, that's that's we got to zoom in on that because those those really are some nice cards right there. So there we go, Carol. Just just kind of move those around a little so they so people can see. I'm moving down. There you go. You can look at the detail on that. It, it's easy, but it's you know you add more flowers to it. You got the sentiments, and that's the background dye. Um, we have a few more sample of this. I was working on it. These are the two. And I love this card. I love this card. Yes. That's the wood plank background. And then you got some flowers and um, All right. sentiment. The word is, yes, uh, everybody wants us to do just have do a show and tell. So All we'll right. try we'll try that. We'll, we'll come out to that. And we'll just come out and talk. We'll talk about the new products and uh, take a look at everything that we got going on at the Craft Fancy store. Yeah. A lot of people were coming back saying, yes, I'd love the idea of seeing what's new because I don't have a store here. And so this is the it. new Easter paper from Photoplay. Oh, let me zoom out a little again. Sorry, Carol. Hop to it. There we go. That's the new Easter. There's also an Easter Wishes from Photoplay. Awesome. Here, what we'll do is I'll just kind of pull them out a little. Yeah. So we got the new Easter one. We have uh, Hop To It. And then you got the Tula, the birthday party gnome birthday. Oh, yeah. And these these are all freshly stocked up and everything and too, right? These are also, yeah. These are all the new stamps from Pretty Pink Posh with the birthday circles. And this one says birthday wishes. It's hard to see it because it's backward. Birthday wishes. But it's birthday wishes. But there's a lot more new stuff because, um, you know. And then if you still work on your Easter project, you got a little Easter stamp and a little egg stencil from Taylor Expression. There it is. There it is. Now, I know a lot of people know that we're out of the gnome as well. It's coming back in about a week. It's going to be back in a week. Uh, if you have some samples of the new products, would be helpful. Yes. Absolutely. Like we said, we kind of fell behind a little, so we'll come out. Uh, pretty much anything that we like to show always is we try to put a sample with there. Yep. It's hard to look at it just a metal die online and go, yeah, you use your creativity. All right. Well, we're just about running out of time, and apparently one of a kind is going to be coming back doing tour prizes really soon. Uh, Carol and I both want to thank everybody for taking time out of your busy schedules to watch us. Thank you for all the questions and comments that you guys make. As always, it's you guys that make it uh, valuable to us. And thank you for letting us know what we can do to be better with you guys. Uh, today, again, we did the three three cards. Let's take a look at this. We did these three wonderful cards that we got up there using the wonderful Craft Fancy die. And then also, too, as I want to let everyone know again, I said I would do that. Get your cameras ready. Get a picture of it. $50 purchase. You will be getting a free memory box die valued between... 10 to 15 dollars it's valid from 320 to 316 no code necessary online 312, not 320. I, oh did i say 312 okay yeah <laughs> 312 to 316 and uh no code is necessary for that just to place your order it needs to be 50 dollars worth of product not 50 not 49 dollars and then three bucks in tax so all right so uh Guys, don't delay. Get to www.craftfancy.com today. Get your orders in place. This is going down in three, two, one, boom. And you're going to need about, what, five minutes to switch over? Yep. So it's uh, 2.45. I'm going to get out of here right now. Uh, give us a couple minutes to switch over, and then uh, you're going to see uh, Kathy and Brian come on and uh, do the wrap-up for the One of Kind group. I'm Brian. I'm Carol. And we're Craft Fancy. And thanks for tuning in today. Guys, stay safe. Uh, go ahead and shop, and we'll see you next time. Talk to you real soon. Bye.